Let's come before God in prayer. Let us pray. Great is God, great and worthy of all our praise, all our adoration. Bow in awe and wonder at the Lord's holy name. Celebrate the goodness of God, who is rich in love, stretches out mighty hands to shape galaxies and mountains, and across a wooden cross. Such is the depth of God's love, revealed in Christ Jesus, in whom we gather, through whom we pray, by whom we know the saving power which came from heaven, entering the world full of the glory of God the Father. This is the God we bow before today and offer our prayers, our heart, our joy, our longing at the feet of which were pierced for us. We look, knowing that it was our sin, all that gets in the way of love which caused those wounds and we turn away with shame and sorrow. Yet the hand, rough from working wood, run through by nails, reach out to us, touching us with compassion, kissing us gently with love, looking into our eyes and saying, You are forgiven. Truly you are. Now come, listen to my words and follow me. Lord Jesus Christ, we hope our worship is acceptable to you. How we hope our lives reflect your glory. How we hope this church may be where heaven is a place on earth. Through your presence to us, through the Holy Spirit, weaving between us all. All this we pray through Christ Jesus' precious name. And continue to pray together, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our first reading today is taken from Exodus chapter 16, reading verses 2 to 15. Let's open our hearts and minds to God's word to us today. In the desert, the whole community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The Israelites said to them, If only we died by the Lord's hand in Egypt. There we just sat around pots of meat and ate all the food we wanted. But you have brought us into the desert to starve this entire assembly to death. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will rain down bread from heaven for you. The people are to go out each day and gather enough for that day. In this way, I will test them and see whether they will follow my instructions. On the sixth day, they are to prepare what they bring in. And that is to be twice as much as they gather on the other days. So Moses and Aaron said to the Israelites, In the evening you will know that it was the Lord who brought you out of Egypt, and in the morning you will see the glory of the Lord, because he has heard your grumbling against him. Who are we that you should grumble against us? Moses also said, You will know that it was the Lord when he gives you meat to eat in the evening and all the bread you want in the morning, because he has heard your grumbling against him. Who are we that you are not grumbling against us, but against the Lord? Then Moses told Aaron, Say to the entire Israelite community, Come before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. While Aaron was speaking to the whole Israelite community, they looked towards the desert, and there was the glory of the Lord appearing in the cloud. The Lord said to Moses, I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them, at twilight you will eat meat, and in the morning you will be filled with bread. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. That evening quail came and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. 
when the dew was gone that thin flakes like cro frost on the ground appeared on the desert floor. When the Israelites saw it, they said to each other, What is it? For they did not know what it was. Moses said to them, It is the bread the Lord has given you to eat. And our second reading is from Matthew chapter 20, reading verses 1 to 16. So you see, Jesus continued, the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire workers for his vineyard. There he agreed with the workers to give them a dinner a day and sent them off to his vineyard. He went out again in the middle of the morning and saw some others standing in the marketplace with nothing to do. You too can go to the vineyard, he said, and I'll give you what's right. So off they went. He went out again about midday, and then in the middle of the afternoon he did the same. And then, with only half an hour of the day left, he went out and found other people standing there. Why are you standing here all day with nothing to do? He asked them. Because no one hired us, they replied. Well, he said, you too can go into the vineyard. When evening came, the vineyard owner said to his servant, Call the workers and give them a pay. Start with the last and go on to the first. So the ones who'd worked for one hour came and each of them received a dinner. When the first ones came, they thought they would get something more, but they too received a dinner. When they had been given it, they grumbled against the landowner. This lot came in last. They've only worked for one hour and they've been put a level with us. And we did all the hard work all day in the heat as well. My friend, he said to one of them, I'm not doing you any wrong. You agreed with me on one dinner, didn't you? Take it. It's yours. And be on your way. I want to give this fellow who came at the end the same as you. Or are you suggesting I'm not to do what I want with my own money? Or are you giving me the evil eye because I'm good? So those at the back will be at the front, and those at the front will be at the back. Amen. And may God bless to us these readings of God's holy word, and to be God be all glory and praise now and always.